One Wabash Valley man used to spend his retirement wintering in warm climates. Lately, though, he's been staying close to home and working on a new hobby. News 10's Ross Rawling explains how he's found his niche as he steps off the beaten path. Turn on electricity. <laughs> Here's your speed adjustment. Less than a year ago, Jim Cooper found an old Victrola at a yard sale. I hadn't heard one play for a long time. I just loved to hear the sound of them. So this skilled woodworker took it home, cleaned the gears, and started the process of refinishing this century-old sound box. Yeah, a lot of work when I got started on. I didn't want to quit. So move it all over. And he hasn't. Move it all over. A fitting tune as one turned to two, two to three, and now space has had to be cleared in Jim's house and garage for 27 prized possessions. My wife says she's getting jealous of Vicky, Vicky Trota. <laughs> as far as love affairs go, this one's quite passionate. You see the finished product, and you know you took something that looks real bad and make it look nice, and it sounds real good, then you're proud of it. Shake it on over. And faithful for sure. About every two weeks, a new relic restored. This thing's 100 years old and it'll play for another 100 years. How many things can you get that you bought 100 years ago you can say you can, you can use it today? That's one of the very few things you'll ever see working that good 100 years old. We got a pretty mama in Tennessee. Now the box is like new and the gears freshly greased. Once the needle hits the grooves, perfection. You still can't beat this sound. You don't get this sound out of nothing. This is the only place you're going to get this type of sound. Sometimes people make history. And they let someone want to start a museum someplace, and they got a good start right here. And sometimes history makes people. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Ross Rowling, News 10. You know, Patricia.